Hello guys, I'm Dave with the Dog Info, and this morning we are going to talk about the Airedale Terrier. The Airedale Terrier, known as the King of Terriers, the Airedale is indeed the largest of all terriers. The dog breed originated in the Air Valley of Yorkshire and was created to catch otters, rats, in the region between the Air and Wharf Rivers. An able sporting dog, they became an ideal working dog as well, providing their worth during World War I. Although these are purebred dogs, you may find in the care of rescue groups or shelters. To adopt if you want to bring one of these puppies home. Intelligent, outgoing, and confident the Airedale Terrier is. This is a wonderful play for streak that delights their humans. No vice pet, parents, and apartment dwellers should beware though. These dogs have high energy and need plenty of exercise. And their intensity might be a little much for the first time dog trainers. But if you can meet the breed's physical needs and provide them with space to run, preferably in the form of a big yard with a tall secure fence, then you'll be rewarded with a playful, loving companion for a whole family, even kids. The next part is the history of the Airedale with war. The Airedale might have remained a little known terrier of the Yorkshire countryside, were it not for the while of the Great War. While the Airedale made a name for itself as a premier military dog in World War I as a sentry, messenger, explosive detector, and search dog for wounded soldiers, his name of Britain didn't immediately appreciate his value in the trenches. When the first data was exported to Germany in the 1890s, that country was experimenting with the modern concept of a police dog. The Airedale fit right in, a handy size, he had weather-resistant coat, and excelled at tracking, in addition to being loyal and reliable. He was also courageous and protective when necessary. In the 1900s, the Germans used Airedales to patrol and carry messages and munitions during the Boxer Rebellion in China. With great success, by the time World War I dawned, the Airedale was a much-valued military dog in Germany. Alongside the Hoobred, Dermann Pinscher, German Shepherd Dog, and in later years, Rottweiler. Next is Puppy Temperament. Young Airedale Terriers are especially rambunctious and can turn your garden into a moonscape of escamated moles and tulip bulbs. But, their mental stimulation is good. Their mental stimulation is hunting, obedience, agility, and playing games. This is essential for this thinking breed. You can't just leave them alone all day or stick them outside and hope that they'll lie down quietly and be happy. An Airedale's attitude towards strangers varies from enthusiastically friendly to sensibly polite, but even the friendly ones tend to be vi vigilant watchdogs. Some individuals are more protective than others. With other dogs, most Airedale Terriers are bold and aggressive, and their strong hunting insects may be exposed early to cats, else they may not be safe with cats. Rabbits and rodents are not wise additions to the household. This breed is very smart, but also independent. Unless you establish yourself an alpha, which is the number one, he could be headstrong. Yet assertive the others who know how to lead will find him eminently trainable. And the last is description. The Airedale Terrier is the largest of all terrier breeds. Males stand about 23 inches at the shoulder, females a little less. The dense wiry coat is tan with black markings. Long muscular legs give Airedales a regal lift in their bearing. And the long head, with its sporty bearded mustache, dark eyes, and lightly folded ears, conveys a keen intelligence. Weight. The weight of a female is 40 to 44 pounds. The male is 51 to 64 pounds. Lifespan. The Airedale Terrier lifespan is 12 to 14 years. Hey guys, thank you for watching. This is Dave with the info for the dogs. If you would like to see more of these videos, subscribe.